We're here inside of AWTC in Birmingham to talk a little bit about a major event that's happening here next week that will get involved young girls as well as daughters in the community to get into construction and trade industry. And we're here with two of the people who are helping to put this together, Dr. Mitty Cannon, who is the founder of Power Up, along with Mrs. Ashley Blade Carlisle, the facility administrator here at AWTC. Thank you both for being with us today. Dr. Cannon, I want to ask you first about this major event. What do people need to know? So people need to know that the construction industry is a great place to consider careers. And so we want to make sure that young ladies are aware that there's a place for them in the construction industry too. I mean, we can do it too. So we want to make sure that mothers and daughters are aware and they can come and connect with successful women from across the U.S. who have been successful in the industry, as well as contractors who support women coming into the construction industry to learn more about the skills that are required, educational requirements, and just, you know, the, the advantages of having women in the industry because, as you know, women bring benefits to the construction industry that men can't bring. So, of course, it's very important that we educate and we start early and let young ladies know that, you know, they can be electricians, they can be carpenters, they make some of the best welders. And so we just want to make sure that we don't leave any opportunities out that young ladies don't get a chance to explore. So that's why we have this event. Awesome. And Ashley, for you as well with AWTC, why is it important for you all to be a part of something like this and make sure that girls and uh, young women in the community know these opportunities are available? Uh, so the AWTC, um, one of our focuses here is actually construction training. Um, and as many industries are learning, it is better to, like Dr. Cannon said, get them while they're young um, so that we can help assist pushing individual citizens, young girls, towards those opportunities. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Dr. Cannon, I know that you all have this big event coming up next week. It starts at uh, 5.30 or 5, 5.30, correct? Mm -hmm. So it has, that's next week. And then further on, you have something even more big, I guess, that you want to sort of tell people about. What's all that about? Yes. So on March the 18th, we will be starting another program. It's actually training. So it's um, for the community to apply for. Registration is open now. And so it's, it's a program that we're doing through, that's being supported through the Lowe's Foundation um, provided by the National Center for Construction Education and Research. So that's for the purpose of, you know, um, helping people to improve their lives through giving them an opportunity to train in the construction industry and to also um, bridge the gap, the skills workforce shortage that we may have. Awesome, awesome. So for people that want more information about that or the event happening next week, where can they go for that? So they can go to the AWTC website. So that's going to be um, AIDT. So they can go there and register. The registration is open now. So we're taking applications up until the 11th. So okay. go to the website, apply, and we'll in interview you, and we'll get the training started on March 18th. Awesome. And is there still time to register for the event next week? That It's a mother-daughter thing as well? Yes. Yeah, so you can go to poweruploud.org, and um, you can register there as a mother and a daughter team, middle school through high school girls and their moms. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Dr. Cannon, Ashley, thank you so much for taking the time today. We appreciate you. Reporting from Birmingham, Jonathan Skinner, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.